Advanced Action Videos proudly presents Exploding Varmints. Welcome to the first in a series of entertaining and educational videos. This series is made by hunters for hunters, just like you. In this film, you will learn how to approach landowners to obtain permission to hunt their property, ranchers that will welcome you with open arms. We will discuss the equipment needed for your own successful hunt. This video is designed and produced to help you to be able to say, I explode varmints. Hi, my name is Lewis from Advanced Action Videos, Exploding Varmints Part 1. We're going to be in beautiful Northern California today, hunting varmints. We're going to show you how you can obtain permission from landowners to hunt varmints. Varmints are a very bad problem here in Northern California. Uh, livestock problems, crop problems, and so on and so forth. What we're going to do is we're going to show you what kind of ammo that you can shoot, ballistic tip ammo from Nosler. We're going to show you what kind of rifle that you can shoot, what kind of teleoptics that you'll need. We've got a lot in store for you today with Advanced Action Videos, Exploding Varmints Part 1. So stand by, you're going to love what you see. Varmint Hunter, if it results in a win-win situation for you and the rancher, you're going to explode varmints. What do you say? Let's go explode some varmints. You got two in one shot. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you like doing that, I don't love it. doing this, man. This is excellent. <laughs> okay, let's go down here a little bit, okay? All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, that was good. See him eating right now. Yeah, I see him. Now you see him. Now you don't. Missed. Can't believe it. Folks, this one's really close, and I apologize for missing, but I won't miss this one. Oh, I did. No, he's not.
Okay. You know, the question came up, um, hunting varmints versus poisoning varmints. Poisons have been totally outlawed. Since it's been outlawed, when you hunt varmints, nothing goes to waste up here, nothing. Everything goes right back into the food chain. The ecology of this whole thing is, is that we're doing a service to the coyotes, the seagulls, the hawks, the bald eagles, as you'll see here in the film. Um, for you nature lovers that don't understand what's going on here, it is all going right back in the food chain, full circle. So um, as you'll see in the film, it all goes right back. Nothing gets wasted in the big country, nothing. Nothing goes to waste up here in the big country. That's my squirrel. You give it back to me, he says. Ooh. Okay, how do we get permission to hunt private property? Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of public land that uh, we can't hunt. What you have to do is you have to be bold, have some confidence, and ask these ranchers, can I hunt your private property? If there's varmints on his property, that means there's a problem on his property. Varmints do damage to the crops. They do damage to the livestock. Livestock step in their holes, break their legs. Um, what you have to do is you have to ask them, can I hunt varmints on your property? Um, I'm a varmint hunter, that's all I'm gonna shoot is varmints. As long as you don't shoot his cows, his pipes, his, his wife, his house, I'm sure he'll let you shoot his, in their varmints. Um, ask permission, leave the property the way it was when you came, and I'm sure that you'll have, have done a service there. Uh, they can't use poison anymore on these ranches. They have to be shot um, with rifles. So um, ask permission, and I'm sure if, if you leave it the way it came and you respect his property, you'll get to hunt there again. That's how you hunt private property. Yep. Oh. 
up. Him. I'm on him. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, Gary's gonna kill this squirrel, right? There. Oh, beautiful. That's how you really cut him down. Look at that thing, thinks he's still alive, he's trying to run. First, what we want to talk about is gun maintenance. You got to keep your gun clean if you expect to hit your target. We're shooting today a Model 70 Winchester 223, which is probably your most popular varmint rifle, with a ballistic tip 50 grain bullet. The ballistic tip 50 grain bullet explodes every time it hits. We have a 6x18 target rifle scope on this gun that you can see them out there a long ways away. This gun's accurate from about 100 to 200 yards. For you guys that really like to shoot out there a long ways away, we have the 22250, and this 22250 with a 50 grain bullet, ballistic tip nozzler, 200 to 400 yards every time. Six to 24, 44 Variac scope on it, Harris bipod, put her down on your shooting bench, Put the dot on them and say goodbye. This will do them up every single time. We also like to shoot our 22s. Everybody likes shooting their 22s. And the ammunition that we like to use are CCI, stingers, or your hollow points. It's not very expensive ammo. 
and it really does a good job. And the gun that we shoot is a Ruger that's been modified a little bit. <laughs> we have the bipods on it, the Harris bipods, the swivel mounts. We're shooting a three to nine scope. We happen to have a Simmons on this one. The bull barrel gives you more accuracy because of the way the bull barrel is made. Okay, this gun's unloaded. Put it on them. Ta it's like driving tacks at 100 yards. Every single shot, it's like driving tacks. Okay, so we've covered, we've covered the basics on ammo, guns, the kind of optics that you want to use. Um, keep your gun clean, point it in a safe direction. Don't shoot the farmer's house, don't shoot his wife, don't shoot the pipes, don't shoot the cows. Just shoot varmints and explode them. Yep, take them. I got the one. Ready? Go. You mind if I shoot him in the back? Go. Ah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Got him. Another one. Two of them. Whichever one you want. Oh, good. Get that other one. Hurry up. Get that other one. Good. Got him. Come on over here, baby. You're dead. I oh, I missed him. No way. Never missed. I'm still watching him. You never miss, Lee. I've missed three times. I'm really sorry I missed that squirrel, but watch this. That was nice. Yeah, that was nice. See what I mean? I told you you could see one explode, son. We like to do them like you like to see them. You see them, son? Awesome, aren't they? Okay, take the one on the uh, right. Take the one in the middle. That's what I want in the middle. Take the one on the right. Hurry up, this will be a really cool clip we got here. Did you get him? Beautiful. Go. Bert, there's another one for you, buddy. <laughs> you like that, BD? Yeah. A fast daddy, this one's for you, buddy. Oh, Dad, you like that? <laughs> hey, Bert, this is how you shoot him right here. 
Wait, did you hit him? No, oh, God, Bert, he missed. I missed, Bert. Imagine that. Won't happen again. <laughs> He's crip now. Nice. I had killed him. What'd you say? Oh, gross. He is, isn't he? What are you going to do to him for that, Gary? <laughs> now somebody's going to eat him, right? Gary's putting a little sneak on this guy. <laughs> yep. can see me. He just look oh he's running. That's okay. Stay on him because he's gonna die, right? Now I get him? Like it, I love it. doing this, man. This is excellent. Thank you for joining us today. Advanced Action Videos, Exploding Varmints, Part 1. We hope you enjoyed what you saw today. We hope it was educational as well as entertaining, how to get permission, use the right ammo, right caliber of rifle. We look forward to seeing you again on Advanced Action Videos. 